for sure. I, I, know I, that, I, I, I know, Peter, you need to leave very soon, but I wanted to ask yeah, you yeah. this a very important question. Because okay. in, in, in my mind, uh, when, when people ask me of my proudest moments in my coaching career, it's, it's very rarely the things that they might think from the outside, because things are very different right, from, from what they perceive. For example, last year, even though result-wise it was very poor, in terms of you know, how, how I personally felt I managed my time and how I uh, contributed, I, I'm very proud of that. You know? And on your end, your reputation is always you know, the, the, the scouting god. right? This is what comes to mind, Peter Dunn, scouting genius. In, in, in your mind, when you think of your career, what, what are your proudest moments and what are maybe also some of the moments that you look back at as shit, this is something that uh, I will always be a reminder of something that uh, I, I can do better. Yeah. So I, I can actually tell you the worst regret of my career. Uh, and I, I, I know this, like it's, it's just always been at the back of my mind for years, is at the All-Star Game in 2017, uh, I was picked to coach the Brazilian team. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had the choice for who to select for our one-to-ones, uh, and obviously BRTT had to be selected. Uh, yes. But the, the MVP of the league was a player called um, Verter, uh, and he was like top lane. Like you know, he 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 was considered. So so I put him in, and we had somebody on our all-star team called Cami, uh, and Cami retired after that season, and I didn't realize he was planning to retire. And you know, I he sh and the thing is that. Verto played against Faker, uh, and basically, Cami should have had the right to play that best of one just for the career that he'd given to Brazil. Uh, mm. And at the end of the day, that was my call. Like everyone, uh, and I didn't have the right to make the call that I wanted to, that I made. Uh, and if I'd known, like, you know, I just assumed Cami would be coming back for years afterwards and we'd just play another 1v1 in another season, uh, and he never got that chance. Uh, and I would say that is the, the thing that I'm least proud of in my career. Um, in terms of the thing that I'm most proud of, um, it's actually so. It's actually seeing how certain people that I've worked with in the past have developed on the coaching side, uh, okay. and obviously, like uh, uh, you know, working as a coach. You know, sometimes when you see kind of rookie talent, uh, when you see when you see kind of rookies come up, people get a lot of credit for this. Like right? when you see humanoid or when you see kind of something like this, but that's never a solo effort. I've never been on a team where I'm the only coach, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's a team effort that we've put together. Uh, and when I think back on the proudest moments of my career, it's when I've had lots of coaches from lots of different situations and we've been in rough situations and we made the most out of those rough situations. Um, and uh, it's very difficult for me to go into detail on these kind of things. But, you know, when I look at, um, you know, when, when I, I always try to leave my DMs open and things like this, but when I look at how people like, you know, for instance, well, I mean, people in Europe would say Mac, but I think Mac was already a long way along his path before I, I started working with him. It's just people didn't know who he was. But I would say people like Lucas Pierre, um, people like, um, or other coaches that in North America who I don't want to mention by name because they will, uh, it, it might be awkward for them. But, you know, helping see how I've helped, how, how I've helped people in those areas uh, is what is what makes me, makes me the happiest. Um, you know, I've always, yeah. So, so obviously, it's always great seeing somebody like Jojo or somebody like Danny coming up and, uh, or like Kaizo or somebody like this, you know, coming up and being one of the greatest players in the league. Mm -hmm. But those guys, but those stories have all been told already, right? Like yes, everyone yes. knows. Um, but it's the stuff behind the scenes that that's the kind of stuff that 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 I I look back on with the most pride. It's about building those those relationships and those coaching things behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I would say on that. That's very admirable. 